Hello everybody, Stinger Smash back with another video and something a little bit different today. Um going away from uh, from doing a lot of steelbook videos. Um I'm coming back to doing uh, some video game uh videos um showing us some of my collection. Um back in the spare room where pretty much all of my games are, um for my older systems or just uh, you know ones that are out of the way that I don't play as much. Um so up here I have uh, all my PSP games um, and my Nintendo DS and 3DS games, uh, the Nintendo games are what I'm showing today, um, and I also have all my old, uh, s you know, retro system games. Um, so yeah, we're going to show the, the DS and 3DS. So um, I'm going to start with the DS games, and uh, when I first got the DS back in, I think it was Christmas 2006, um, it was right after I got the Wii, <laughs> or right before, I can't remember, but it was, it was around 2006 I got both, and um, I just love the fact that it was so much better than the Game Boy Advance because uh, you could actually see the screen because <laughs> I had one of the old Game Boy Advances that didn't have the light and my brother came around with a DS and I was like wow that's awesome um, so I got one and um, you know pretty quickly I found out that you could get uh, you know these things called you know uh, M3 cards as they were at the time I think they're R4 people might know them as um, and I've still got my old Simply M3 um, and it would allow you to basically just download as many games as you want for, for nothing. But after a while, I sort of started to realise, you know what? It's all well and good having games to play, but it's nice to have them out on display and have a collection. So uh, I went past that and just decided to, uh, you know, go back and get the games because I had some of these games anyway, and then I sold them um, and then bought them all back again. So and some of these are quite rare, and some of them aren't. But uh, this is my nice collection. I, I sort of tried to get all the games that I like. Um, you know, I don't have any Pokemons, I don't have any Animal Crossings or any uh, Monster Hunter, any of the games that are quite popular <laughs> um, in that respect. There's a uh, post to pause on the phone. Um, and, uh, oh, bloody dog out there, it's been barking all morning. Anyway, um, it's probably getting used to the daylight sins. Um, so, yeah, but I've got like every Ace Attorney, every Mario game, every. Uh, Call of Duty, every uh, Professor Layton. So, we're going to go through them anyway. These are in alphabetical order, by the way, and we'll start with the DS. I um, have the 3DS on the end, but I'll start with the DS first. So, um, the first game is uh, 42 All Time Classics. Uh, this is really a game that I think every every uh, collector should have um, if you're going to be collecting DS games because it is a fun um, game. It's one of the very first ones I've got back in the, uh, back in the day. Um, and the one I got actually was an import. This is one of the other things as well. All of my games are uh, UK releases. They're not imports, um, just because they they look better on the shelf together. Because uh, the imports are, are in thinner, blacker cases than the American ones. Um, but yeah, this is a, a really cool uh, 40 shoe game set with uh, a lot of like card games and things like that. But they they just pick up and play games. You can just you know play them now and again. It's a lot of fun. So then next up we have the start of the. Ace Attorney games, and uh, <coughs> the first one, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, um, which, uh, you know, when it first came out, I was like, this is so cool, you know, because you can go around and uh, find clues, and uh, then you have to go to the courtroom and make sure you uh, use the right evidence and things, so uh, I really got into this game big <coughs> back in the day. These ones are quite hard to get now, a lot of these. Uh, this is the sequel, Ace Attorney Justice for All. And we have the third Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney game, Trials and Tribulations. And then he left the series, and we got uh, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. This is the uh, the cheapest of the five to buy. You can still get this pretty cheap, about eight, eight, ten quid. And then finally, the guy who you're up against in the first few, Miles Edgeworth <laughs> Ace Attorney Investigations. This is uh, one of the harder to get ones. And it's the fifth in the series. And you'll see the sixth in the series near the end of this video because I just got it on Saturday. Um, we'll get to that later. Next up, we have Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars Director's Cut. I also have this on the Wii as well, um, and on my uh, my iPod as well. Um, really love this game. Um, you know, go, having to go around and uh, find again, find clues, find out the mysteries and who did what. I, I like the sort of games, the sort of the games that challenge you in the mind. And then there's these games. Now I know the Call of Duty games on the DS are quite limited, but it's still quite a bit of fun to uh, 
you know, to go around shooting people in. Um, this is the first one, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Most of these games are relatively easy to get, the latter one maybe not. There's Call of Duty World at War. And these ones obviously aren't that deck, a lot of these ones are in chronological order. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mobilised, based off Modern Warfare 2. And there's Call of Duty Black Ops. And the last DS game to get the treatment, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uh, Defiance. Um, the graphics have improved slightly on this one as well, <coughs> which you would expect, but still not, not, not a great deal of, uh, of improvement or enhancement. So there we have Diddy Kong Racing DS, um, and uh, this one is, I put it as part of the Mario family, but it's, it's not really, it's just because obviously it's Donkey Kong, but it's Diddy Kong Racing, a uh, fun Mario Kart clone. Then there's Donkey Kong Jungle Climber, and uh, this one is... Uh, Again, we have to go up the screen, and uh, you have to try and fling yourself higher and higher. Um, I think there's a lot of sort of mobile games that have the same basic. It's a bit like dual jump in a way, but slightly different. Um, so then we have the Drawn to Life games. I, I, I like these games. Um, I wouldn't play the first two, uh, but essentially you have to, you know, go through a platformer and uh, save people. But also you have to draw in certain things, um, and that's up to you. What you know, whatever you draw, you can either go artistic and, do, and draw really well or you can just scribble anything um, and it uh, helps you on your way. Uh, this is the second one, Draw to Life the next chapter. And then the third game, which I haven't actually played yet, is Draw to Life uh, SpongeBob, Spongebob Squarepants Edition. And then we move on to a game you can't buy in the shops, this is quite a rare one, but the Game & Watch Collection uh, from Club Nintendo. This is a game that I got with all my hard earned um, club card points from many many years of buying all sorts of systems uh, probably had to register three or four systems and tons of games to get this but uh, yeah the game and watch collection which uh, they no longer sell so it's quite rare now but uh, yeah really cool same no longer sell they no longer have it as a reward then we have the two Zelda games we have the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and uh, yeah I remember playing this a long long time ago Pretty fun stuff. And then we have Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, the second game, which I don't think I've actually gotten around to play. Then we have the obligatory Lego game. If you're going to have a, a collection of anything, you've got to have at least one Lego game, and I thought I may as well pick the best one. Uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Very good stuff. I've got at least one Lego Star Wars game on probably every system, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I love the Lego Star Wars games. Uh, so now we have the Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Um, this is the second game in the Mario Luigi series. The first one was on the Game Boy Advance. Um, a very, uh, very cool sort of RPG style game. And I uh, actually have three in the series. This is the second one, Mario and Luigi: Bowser's Inside Story. So again, they're not in alphabetical order; they're in chronological when it comes to I think things like that. And we get more Mario games. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Beijing, 2008. It's a fun little game. And then there's the Man and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games in Vancouver 2010. Um, the DS didn't get any more from this series, I don't believe. Um, or if they did, if they, if they got a 2012 one, I got it on the 3DS, so I didn't bother with the DS one. Uh, but they certainly didn't even give us a 2014 one. Um, that was only on the Wii U, which I don't have. And next we have Mario Kart DS. One of the very first games I ever got, probably the very first game I ever got in the system. And there's Mario Party DS. I always love the Mario Party games. Um, the only problem is I don't really have anyone to play them with anymore. <laughs> Back in the day I used to, now I don't. Um, then we have Mario Slam Basketball, which I have to admit I haven't played this since I had the American version years ago called Mario Hoops 3 on 3. Um, not played this since because I wasn't very good at it. Um, so that was really more just getting it to... I think it was the last one I got from the Mario collection on the DS. Uh, Mario vs Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis. Again, it's a... Uh, the first game was on the Game Boy Advance. Um, and yeah, this is a game where you have to get your uh, little mini Marios to the goal without them dying. And so you have to sort of move uh, platforms and things to get them to the end. Pretty fun. And then we have the second in the series, uh, sorry, third in the series, second on the DS, Mario vs Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. And uh, we haven't made one yet for the for the 3DS. I'm hoping they will. 
fingers crossed. And next up, one of the er other early games is this new Super Mario Brothers. This one, unfortunately, is in a display box only, um, because that's just how I got it on eBay. Um, but it's basically the same box. But yeah, really, really fun. Obviously, new Super Mario Brothers, and I love the the sequel on the DS, uh, 3DS. So now I get the Professor Layton games. Professor Layton, the Curious Village. So there's more time than I can remember. <laughs> just uh, really love the Layton games. Uh, I have seven Layton games in fact in total. Um, here's Professor Layton and Pandora's Box. And these have different names in America, I think, as well. Um, here's pa Professor Layton in the Lost Future, third game in the series. And of course, if you don't know what the Professor Layton games are all about, this spec is cool. Then uh, where, <laughs> what rock have you been living under? It's really, really fun puzzle uh, adventure games. Very much make you think. <laughs> um, one thing I should say actually on these is that the uh, the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection that is ceasing to exist very soon. They're not doing it anymore. In other words, your Nintendo DS system will no longer go on the internet. Um, so if you want to download the last three puzzles for these games and some some of the games like Animal Crossing, uh, you want to do it now. Because I think you only got a few more weeks or days until they shut off the connection. Um, they're obviously just going with the 3DS. Um, for the for the Nintendo shop, that's it. <coughs> okay, so currently on the DS collection, and uh, we have rooms. Um, this one's called Rooms, the main building, which is another sort of puzzle game, um, sliding puzzle game. And we have yet more puzzles with Sherlock Holmes DS, the Mystery of the Mummy. Um, I enjoy playing the Sherlock Holmes games on the. Uh, Xbox 360, the Jack the Ripper one, and also on the PS3 uh, last year, so look something a little different there to, to enjoy. And then there's the Simpsons game, this is another one I've got on pretty much every system. I've got it on the PlayStation, but I've got it on the PS2, uh, the DS, and the PSP, and the PS2. Uh, did I say PS2? Xbox 360. Um, yeah, and I used to have it on the Wii, so <laughs> the Wii games one I've played the most. The uh, This version is a little different to the rest, you even have a a pet homer game which is not included in the other versions I don't believe. And then if you're going to have a, a Nintendo system you may as well have a, a Sega game and a Sonic game to boot, uh, the Sonic Classic Collection. Um, and this is just basically the Sonic 1, 2 and 3 and Sonic and Knuckles on, uh, on one cartridge. And now we get to some Super games. We have Super Mario 64 DS which is uh, basically just a redo of Super Mario 64. Uh, all of these are, are Mario based now, Super Princess Peach. Uh, they never made another game for Super Princess Peach. I like this game, considering it is more sort of the girls, I guess. But I like the fact that you've got different powers you can use to go to different uh, places. Either to make you jump higher or, uh, you know, not get hurt by fire, things like that. And then we have the Wario games, there's three of those Wario Master of Disguise, which is a, a Wario platformer where you have to use different disguises again to, to get to different areas. Um, pretty cool stuff. I really like Wario World on the GameCube. I think I still got that somewhere. Uh, then we have the two WarioWare games for the DS. WarioWare DIY, do it yourself. Yes, why make a game or to make you make a game? And the other one is WarioWare Touched. This is actually the older game, um, but it was in alphabetical order, so maybe I should switch them. But yeah, that was one of the very first games I got as well, back in the day. Um, and the last two, we have Yoshi's Island DS, and obviously a, a new one has just come out for the 3DS, which I've got. Really fun stuff, this one. And finally, for the DS, <coughs> excuse me, stuck on the end, is Yoshi Touch and Go, which is a sort of put another puzzle game, not very good actually, you know, this is probably one of the weaker games I've got this is in the collection, but uh, it was the last Mario game alongside uh, the basketball one that I got just to have a full collection of the uh, Nintendo Mario games. So that's the DS games, so let's go on to the 3DS games. Okay, so there isn't as many of these <laughs> because they are more expensive. Um, and again, it's just a small collection, but I've got most of the, the, the big titles, I think. Um, first, I'll show this one is just on the top, the Kid Icarus Uprising, with a stand. So, I'll show that one first. 
and now we get to the, the alphabetical order. Um, so here we have uh, Asphalt 3D racing game. It's picked up cheap, I think I paid about 4 quid for that one. Uh, next up we have Cars 2 3D, which again I got cheap. Um, I think I bought that just for the 300 Disney movie reward points, it was that cheap. Um, to get like a, a 3D Blu ray or something which I sold and then cover the cost of the, of the game. Uh, then we have Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. This is one of the newer games uh, that I've got. Uh, basically, I stopped collecting these after about a year and came back recently and bought a few of the newer titles. I think that was Mario or Donkey Kong related, you know, the, the big AAA titles. That's Donkey Kong Returns. We have Driver Renegade 3D. Driving games are, are pretty decent. Then we have uh, Hollywood Crimes 3D. This one is okay, but uh, it really dropped in price a lot after I bought it. <laughs> you can pick it up now for about a fiver, but it's, it's alright, but it's, it's nothing spectacular. It's just a puzzle game. And then we have the two Zelda games, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. And uh, somewhere I've got Ocarina of Time on the N64, which I bought from a charity shop. Hang uh, on, I'll just go and get it. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was Majora's Mask. <laughs> but yeah, I've kept this uh, bubble wrapped Majora's Mask from a charity shop for a tenner. Um, apparently, it's worth about 60 quid, so I'm keeping it uh, well protected until I get around to using it. But yeah, so um, the second one for Zelda Zelda A Link Between Worlds. This has just come out not long ago. And then, yes, more LEGO games LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. I uh, really enjoyed that game on the PlayStation 3, and then Lego Star Wars 3, which is one of the more complex and, uh, and probably the, one of the hardest Lego games, just because of the battle scenes, which is a little different to Lego, for Lego games and the strategy strategy ones. And then we have Luigi's Mansion 2, he started this on the GameCube, obviously, well, the, the Luigi's Mansion 1, um, this is Luigi's Mansion 2 for the 3DS. And then we have the fourth Mario and Luigi game in the series, Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers. So this is a pretty new release. A lot of these I haven't even got around to playing yet. Um, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. And we have Mario Kart 7. And obviously Mario Kart 8 is coming out for the Wii U. Another pretty new game, Mario Party Island Tour. We have Mario Tennis Open. This one's quite a cheap game now. They usually put a Mario Tennis game on more systems, but they didn't do it one for the DS. Uh, we have Men's Academy, this one I paid about three quid for. Just again to sort of get the mind get the mind going. Uh, then we have New Super Mario Bros. 2. I've played this game so much. Um, this and the other Mario game that I'm going to show later on is basically what I've spent 90% of my time on on the 3DS. Love those two games. And I'm still not done on them. <laughs> then we have Paper Mario Sticker Star. I love Paper Mario on the GameCube. And so, uh, yeah, very much uh, looking forward to checking that one out. Then we have two Professor Layton games, three Professor Layton games, sorry. Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Came out a couple of years ago. And then Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy. And then the one I just got on Friday, release day, Professor Layton vs Phoenix Wright. So I can't wait to check that one out. The best of both worlds. I couldn't have dreamed of that game until I found out about it about a month ago. I had to get it on order, on pre-order. Uh, and a Puzzle Bobble Universe, which is just another cheap, like, £4 purchase. <coughs> and we have Rabbids 3D, which I got when I bought first bought the system. I've uh, not really played it much, though. And we have Rearman 3D. Pretty cool stuff. And the last three now, we have Sonic Generations. Super Mario 3D Land, this game, <laughs> I've spent so much time, uh, this is my favourite game of the, uh, you know, of the last few years to be perfectly honest, on, on any system I think, I love Super Mario 3D Land, awesome game. And finally, one of the other games I just got a week or so ago, New Yoshi's Island, or Yoshi's New Island, is it Yoshi's New Island? Yes it is, that's what it's in that, that order, Yoshi's New Island, which is uh, a sequel to Yoshi's Island 3D, uh, or Yoshi's Island yes, sorry. So that's the uh, collection. Um, I say I don't have 
a lot of games you might say well I've got over 50 for the DS and probably around 30 for the 3DS there's probably bigger collections but as I say I'll try to keep to uh, in essence the, the really top games um, you know the, the Professor Layton's and the uh, the Mario Mario related games and, uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with what I've got they, they just about fit on the shelf so <laughs> I don't have space for any more that's a good thing when you, when you don't want to you know start off a new shelf so you think okay well I've got enough now um, that'll do that'll do nicely uh, so yeah so thanks again for watching this video um, I will be back soon um, probably in a week or so I'm still waiting for the final few games for my PSP collection but um, that one's going to be a huge one um, I've seen some PSP game collections on on, on YouTube um, but I'm going to span around uh, these are my PSP games. Um, I actually have these over there. And they go down there as well. There's about 350. Um, which I don't think I've seen that many people have 350. So uh, that'll be in a video or three. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'm waiting for a few more games. Probably when I get to about 400, I'll, uh, I'll do the video for that. But uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching my Nintendo DS and 3DS game collection. And I shall see you all.